Looking back, what do we see? What have we learned? Chapter 5, Retrospection When Think Tech was formed, there was great hope for a tech industry in Hawaii, to replace the decline of plantation agriculture, to share the stage with hospitality and the military, to develop a modern economy like the West Coast. It was an exciting time. There was a lot going on, and the prospects were promising. It was in that context that we named our new nonprofit Think Tech Hawaii, with the emphasis on tech as our middle name. There were tech startups all around Hawaii. Venture capitalists came to town to hear what they had to say. The university and the Manoa Innovation Center were brimming with possibilities. Trade associations were being formed. They came to the capital to showcase their technologies. We loved having them on our think tech talk shows. Ed Cadman, the dean and progenitor of the new John A. Burns Medical School in Kaka'ako, talked about a national biotech campus there, like the one Robert Olson built at the new Fitzsimmons in Denver. Cadman wore a t-shirt saying, Think Tech, breakfast in Kaka'ako. We were delighted that so much was at hand, and that we could cover it and be part of it. Regrettably, there were also detractors. With so much at stake, it had to get political. Although the more progressive generation felt that diversification was best for them and for the state, some local economists felt that hospitality should be the exclusive option and suggested that diversification should be ignored. When Linda Lingle ran for office she supported Ben Cayetano's Act 221, the act which created technology tax credits. But after she was elected, Lingle turned against the act and for her eight years in office did everything she could do to scuttle those credits. The tech community was profoundly affected by Lingle's turnabout. It was a clear message that state government would not support the development of a tech industry in Hawaii, and was a huge step backward. ThinkTech covered the story as it unfolded. Meanwhile, the management at Hawaii Public Radio felt that our Think Tech talk shows on 88.1 should avoid policy discussions on this and other public issues, and that we should focus instead on consumer tech, like the latest in cell phones and laptops. This was not agreeable to us, and we then terminated our show there. Lingle ultimately succeeded in her campaign to kill Act 221 and engineered an early sunset of its tax credits. For the lack of those credits, and given her efforts to embarrass tech investors, they stopped investing, lots of tech companies closed their doors, and lots of talented tech workers left for work on the mainland. As tech entrepreneurship declined, clean energy took the stage. There was tech in energy of course. Energy became the new tech for Hawaii. The energy industry, along with the University of Hawaii, organized the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. Lots of people, companies and trade associations from Hawaii and elsewhere were involved, and lots of things were happening. ThinkTech covered the action and in fact became a part of the forum. Unfortunately, the forum doesn't exist anymore. We thought about changing our name to Think Tank Hawaii, or perhaps Think Energy Hawaii, but we agreed that by that time, our brand was based on Think Tech Hawaii and it wouldn't be a good idea to change the name. So we've learned to live with the original name, and we treat the tech in ThinkTech as the tech we use to produce our content, and so it has been and remains till today. Now, as we transition to legacy content, you can also get to our site by using thinktechlegacy.com or thinktechforward.com. Tech in Hawaii no longer represents the possibility of diversification. Nor does it attract big tech companies, or investors with an appetite to fund tech startups, or a skilled tech workforce looking for great jobs. Instead, we've directed our attention to consumer tech where everyone tries to buy the latest and greatest consumer products from Amazon or Best Buy. But we don't design or develop those products ourselves. Nor frankly do we know exactly how they work. And to the extent that we might have gotten on the bandwagon for AI, that train has left the station. So let's just lay back and enjoy hospitality as the primary engine of our economy, because that is pretty much all we have, along with our dependent ancillary activities in real estate, retail and restaurants.
When we have extreme weather or sea level rise, or when we run up against natural or geopolitical disasters, or a judgment day on our troubling social and fiscal problems, our economy will be in deep kimchi. We know it, and the generation that could have led a tech diversification will also know it, and they will leave, thus accelerating the spiral of decline already underway. To understand where we are, and what we face, depends on a meaningful examination of where we have been. That is why we're building our legacy collection. We want to enable our viewers to look back over the past decade of talk show discussions, to see what was going on along the way, to see who was saying what, to see what issues and solutions were in play, and what to make of that now. It's much more than just nostalgia. It's the discovery of recurrent relevance. It's connecting the dots, and playing them forward. So if you want to do that, join us in this retrospection. Take a look at our legacy collection and see what it tells you, what it meant before, and what it means now. We need so badly to connect the dots of what has happened here, and what has happened on the mainland and everywhere. Only then can we make our special society resilient enough to compete in this difficult, threatening, and often uncaring world. Stay with us in this transition. Let's work together to remember, to connect, to keep up, and to make Hawaii reach and maintain its still most excellent potential. This Chapter 5, Retrospection, is dedicated to everyone in our ThinkTech family, including our staff, hosts, guests, directors, underwriters, and donors, and our viewers, of course. Now, at the time of this transition, we are all the more grateful to them for their efforts and their support over the years. Many of them are listed on our website, thinktechhawaii.com. May K aloha to all. Stay tuned to this over the years video series for our next exciting chapter, The Legacy Collection. Thanks for watching. Aloha.